this is all wonderful. Let's hold hands and say kumbaya. We're spanking him like a baby seal. <laughs> Forget this. Come and work for me at O'Leary Funds. <laughs> I can make you some real money. Make an offer. I'll give you $50,000 for 51%. You're going to have to wear ankle bracelets that every time you mention, you mention the word DVD, 24 volt shock. James, listen to me. I am going to go buy a $1,000 bottle of wine tonight and I'm going to drink it because I'm weeping for the opportunity lost. It's the only way I can feel better about it. He's bounced back. That shows you the power of Shark Tank and why they call me Mr. Wonderful. Okay, I'll give you 200 bucks for the pig box. Listen, I think I'm going to save children by doing that. We're going to put that in my museum of really bad ideas that can kill people. And I like my capital to come home just like my children occasionally. I cannot see Kevin O'Leary who doesn't even go to the gym, going home, buying these bands, strapping them on. I just can't see people well, buying Well, first it. of all, I'll kick your ass and squash anytime you want. Thank you for your time. I gotta try and make some money now. Please leave. You know, besides being Mr. Wonderful, I'm also Mr. Toy. I sold my company to Mattel for over four billion dollars. Now you kids are seeing what life is really like, and this is an important lesson for you. In the end, it's only about the money all of the time. And they said it's time to shut you down and crush you like the cockroach you are. Now, you want me to get in bed with you and get crushed again? I can take Uncle Kevin's $50,000, live even off that. You imagine calling this guy Uncle Kevin? <laughs> I, thought he, I thought he was mean Kevin. No, I, <laughs> I'll let you in on a secret. Everybody calls him Mr. Wonderful. Exactly, that's why they call me Mr. Wonderful. Because every deal that comes out of my lips is wonderful, if you really think about it. I have no interest in competing in retail category that's so crowded, grown men weep. Barbara, I forbid you to invest in this business. I'm tired of you killing money. You know, Barbara, you're one crazy chick. I'm not know? at all. Barbara, if you screw this up for me, I'm going to spank you like a baby seal. I got to tell you, I mean, I, if I actually gave you 30 grand, I would throw up in this thing. I just can't imagine doing that. I like to have people like you doing all the work so I can sit at home, eat bonbons. Julie, what's great about a wedding is nobody cares about money. This is the time to hit them. I don't want to give him a cheap runner. I want to get the $500 to $700 profit on every wedding when people aren't looking at what they're spending. You've got a fantastic business that makes phenomenal margins. You're capturing the high end. You want to go play in the toilet bowl weddings. Turn around, get out of here. You too. Oh, is there any liability if somebody's cat drowns? <laughs> liability, Damon? Yeah, if somebody's cats cat don't drowns, like to drown. They hop up on the toilet oh. and falls in his bed. You just get a new cat. They're 15 <laughs> bucks. <laughs> Rebecca, I hate cats. Hate but them. you love money, right? I love money, okay. no question about it. But if a cat ever gave me a problem and I was in a high apartment, I wouldn't have a problem with that cat five minutes later. I'm out. If you don't make a decision, I'm taking a contract out on your cat. You'll get home, you'll be missing. Thank you so much. What are you thanking us for? Aldo, I think it's unique, it's interesting, the history piece is wonderful, but I'm stuck on this problem. If you do get run over by a bus, your road pizza, I'm an investor, I have nothing. I've got the history, your memories, I can visit your grave. But my money's dead, too. You can get run by the bus, and what happened to your family? My family's going to be happy, particularly my kids. <laughs>